we're live. We're live. Coming up, med time. Two ups like nine years old.
ducts. today and they will splash it I will move it back plus I've got to unload the truck when I get back
They return to where they came from. As you notice, I've changed. I'm in my unloading the truck attire. I'm going to work a sweat off the Okay, here we go. The fun part. Hand bomb and bags of feet. You ready for the excitement? So everything, absolutely everything, since February the 7th on my channel has been flagged. It's still flagged. Everything since February the 7th.
Okay. Whew. Well, that was a good call. Uh, I'm changing my attire. I was just overheating big time in the winter coat. Right now, I'm just mildly overheating. single bale left in the truck. Feeling ducks. It doesn't look like they did much playing.
Now you're going to clean your top. All right, well, we'll let the duct clean itself. Look at the medicine happening here. All right, folks, let's, uh, let's get the, uh, the meth lab hopping in here. Cook up some drugs for the ducks. I got my helper right here, Mr. Right in the Way. <laughs> I mean, like, right in the way. He's, like, like right there. Hey, Doug, hang on here. I'm trying to get the camera to tilt for me. Are you going to help, Doug? Is this, is this the spot? Is this the spot right where I got to work, okay? Right here. This is where I'm working. Okay? <laughs> uh, he knows that I have to stand here and, and do the drugs. He knows this. Okay? Now, wouldn't you love a coffee mug with that face on it? Hey? Okay? <laughs> hint, hint, folks. Available now online. Link below. <laughs> Official Doug mug. Hey, Dougie. Come on. Let me, let me get her hand up. Let me work. The official mug with Doug. I'm curious how good the picture is going to turn out because it's an unbelievable detail. Shower curtain, I think it'd be cool too. I'm thinking of ordering that, the mug and the shower curtain, just to have it hang in there. Freak myself out and I wake up in the middle of the night thinking there's a big animal in my bedroom. It's a giant critter. Oh. Curtains with Doug's face on it too. I gotta do that. It's, I got, that would be awesome. Somebody who really wants Doug in his life. Because not everybody can have a duck. Well, unless you got 50 grand, then you can clone them. All right. But that's only if I get a copy, too. I, I give up genetic samples if I could get a copy. All right. All right, I'm going to make this quick, folks. I uh, honestly didn't count on even unloading the truck today because um, I've done nothing. Well, I did egg recon, got like 80 some odd eggs. I'm not kidding you folks. I think tomorrow is going to be like 1,100 eggs to the food bank. It's going to be the biggest load I have ever taken there. It's, uh, I've got boxes scattered over the back room full of eggs. You'll see tomorrow morning when I do the video. Uh, I, I bet you I'm going to fill the front seat, back seat, and the trunk of the car. And I got to go on tour tomorrow and talk to some people about a forklift. I'm having troubles lining up a forklift to unload the patio stones because if I can't unload them with a forklift, I can't do the deal. I, I don't know, Tina. Did you look at the Go, Go Cafe Press store or are you just asking me? You could just click on the link and browse the, uh, the uh, store and see if anything catches your interest. There's, there's all kinds of stuff there. Well, if you looked, why are you asking? 
If you looked at everything, then why are you asking? There's other stuff there, which is answering your question. If you looked, but you didn't look. I tried to do more artwork this morning, folks. I did egg recon, I was so tired. I couldn't do it on video. I couldn't even put a GoPro on my head. I was just like, I was like stumbling doing egg recon. It was even hard for me to set the stream up outside. I think what it was was because last night, like at about 7.44, I finished the store and it was like a huge, massive weight lifted off of me. I was like, uh, uh, it was like, oh, the first wave. And I learned so much this first wave. I got to do some changes on my setup, on my templates to make it faster because I learned a lot of things. I learned, next one's going to be way faster. Uh, but I thought, I'm going to celebrate. And you know when you celebrate, you know, like usual, let's get into the barley sandwiches, eh? And uh, I, I went to the fridge, opened up the crisper, and there was two. <laughs> I guess I'm not celebrating. I got the store done. Two. I had two. <laughs> uh, I said two. It's like you're not celebrating much with two. Uh. Anyways. Well, there's Doug Mug there right now, Road Warrior. Right now, there's a Doug Mug. Oh. I could have drank a dozen last night. I could have. I could have easily. Like, seriously. I would have stayed up till 3 a.m. by myself, like an alcoholic, listening to music. I was so happy I was done. Massive amount of relief. So, massive amount of relief. But I, now I want to get on working on some the other artwork because I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, uh, I, need, I need to get some color in my life. So I want to work on color artwork. That's what I want to do next. And I tried this morning. I tried to uh, do the, the uh, uh, but I, I couldn't. I opened the program and it was like, just, I was just, I sat there. I said, Matt, you're too tired to do this. So then I went and laid down on the couch. It was 9.38 and I, 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 I woke up. Just well, when I went down and you saw me down at the barn doing the water, that's when I woke up. Okay, that's how that's how late I slept. I slept the whole day, like like six and a half hours, in the middle of the day. No. So I didn't go to town today, so I have no barley sandwiches here. Nothing. Oh, I'm still very tired. Like, honestly, I'm still really, I don't know if I can even tomorrow, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to, I'm going to do the egg run in the morning, and then uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, go back at it again. Like, I might, I don't know, I might plow the driveway tomorrow and just take a break from everything and just sit on the tractor, brain dead, and you know, and just plow the driveway. I might do that. Just to give my head a break. Just so I'm fresh. But I don't know. I really want to go at it again. Big time. Oh. A stockpile of barley sandwiches. No, Virginia, I had two. That's all I had. It was two. Oh. I get fresh air every day, Diane. Every day... <laughs> Inga, you have no idea. I was laying on the couch and I was like, I was laying there and I was like, I was like, you know, if I wasn't live, I would be like, I would be like, how could I wing this and do minimal duck upkeep right now? Like, but I got outside and cleaned the ducks up because I can't very well live stream and, and let the ducks slide, you know, because people would be like, oh, look at the mess of that place, you know? Right. Speaking of that, duck responsibility, got a horror story for you. This is a bad story, folks. Bad. Talking to somebody because I've been phoning around, trying to find somebody with a really 
big uh, tractor, and I'm talking big because it's their 2,000 pound skids, the patio stones, okay? And like I said, if I can't find a, a way of mechanically unloading them and putting them in the pan, it ain't gonna happen because that's just way too much, you know? That's like, well, 70, 56,000 pounds to move. Oh, that would you ever be tired, eh, after hand bombing? 880 pounds, uh, 64,000, 64,000 pounds of. Uh, uh, would you, man, to be like, that would be, you would be, oh, you, well, you better be in shape before you start that one. Anyways, so I'm phoning around, talking to people, and then someone asked me, who had a tracker, obviously, they're, they're a farmer, how's your birds doing this winter? And I'm like, I'm like, fine, I'm, uh, you know, the birds are, are uh, doing great. He said, well, how'd you do during the cold snap? Well, I don't know, I, uh, I, I had no problems, like, we didn't have any problems, you know? And uh, they, uh, they lost 35 birds. And their neighbor lost 15 birds. And I'm like, what? How did you, you guys got big burns, you know? And like, oh, there was too cold. I said, well, what, but, well, we kept throwing straw in, but that wasn't enough. And I'm like, well, well, why didn't you put some heat lamps in there? Like, you know, like your bird's not worth any money to you? Like, like. I just couldn't understand that logic. I was like, you just let your birds freeze to death? Like, like, like 35 birds, people. You know, like heat lamp, the whole, okay, a bird's worth at least 20 bucks, okay? At least $20 is what a bird's worth. A metal heat lamp with a bulb is 35 bucks, okay? So every one of those you buy, you save two birds. Well, it costs, it's the cost of two birds. So you're not gonna buy 35 heat lamps, you know what I mean? Like, all you would have to do is buy, like, you know, throw a, 10 of them, 10 of them in. You know, just string up 10 heat lamps and save your 35 birds. You're, you'd be way ahead of the game. Nope. They lost chickens, ducks. I was like, what, what, like, I, I was just like, anyways. I, I just couldn't understand that. Like, unbelievable, actually. Unbelievable! I, I I couldn't believe it that uh, and they they you know they they chalked it up to the bad weather and I'm like well you know I, I had the same weather here you know like I had the exact same weather you know and I and I'm under the scrutiny of live internet I got the whole world watching you know so like nothing happened here we didn't have any birds with frozen feet you know we didn't have any birds die of the cold you know we had we had some infections from bumblefoot. But that's nothing to do with the cold, you know? Like, like think about it. Actually, the cold this year, like, I don't want to say that, you know, it was a cakewalk, but it certainly wasn't as hard as, as, as the other farmers are having birds dying, you know? You know what I mean? Like, that's right, Linda. It comes down to caring, and they just don't care enough. Well, that's the problem. And that's why they shouldn't have animals. And they got huge farms and they got all kinds of animals. And I'm like, oh man, could just imagine what the rest of their animals went through. If that's what their birds went through. So, meanwhile, you know, they're warm in the, you know, in the farmhouse, stocked up with wood, just lighting the fire and, you know, keeping her heated, you know? And then they're, they're all, the other, all the farm animals are out there just, just suffering. You know, you'd like to just, you'd like to go over there and burn their house down. That's what I would like to do. So, while it's cold out. There you go. Go sleep in the barn with your birds. Like, like it's just wrong. Like, it's just, just because they're animals doesn't mean they, don't, they, you know, they can't get cold. It's like, people are just freaking idiots. They're stupid. Anyways. Then he asked me how many birds I had and how many I'm getting this year. And he was sort of hitting... hitting well, you know, I, uh, <laughs> maybe I can get some birds from you. I was like, not a freaking chance. <laughs> oh, man, you know, I'm going to send my birds over there to die? Not a chance on that one. Like, not a chance. I, I, I no, no. It's like, I'm going to stick to the old rules. No, no live birds leave the property. No. That, uh, it, not everybody is Jasmine, okay, on the overkill. Uh, taking care of the animals. Oh. 
but I just couldn't believe it. 35, I would freak. Yeah, I know I got banned. Because that butchering, that goose Woody video, Diane, had causing me lots of problems. I'm trying to remember the date of the goose video, you know? Well, Jasmine, if you throw enough money at it, you got to do it right, you know? And I'm thinking you're throwing enough at it. Uh, but what was I talking about? The goose video, the day. What, what, the day? What day was that goose video? Does anybody have the date? of the goose video handy. I, I can't look it up right now, but whatever the day was, I'm thinking it was February the 7th was the day of the goose. I'm thinking it was, it just seems that that's around the time. Well, anyways, if you look on the, on the channel, Jasmine, it'll show you February the 5th. Okay. So that makes sense. I've been flagged since February the 7th because the 5th I did the video. The night of the 5th, I got the flag for the age restriction. And then I got then I got a strike against me the night of the 5th. So that makes sense. Because everything from February the 7th on on my channel now is flagged. Everything. It's solid yellow. I'm not I'm not advertiser friendly anymore. Put the crack down. No, this is a meth lab, Connor. You're, you're on the wrong channel. We just mixed up some meth here. See, we got the meds here. We cut, we cut our own medicine. See the, the syringe? You're on the wrong channel, man. Okay, Connor, someone ban Connor, please. He's, he's attacking me personally now. Can you hammer him, please? Is there a hammer handy? Did Connor get hammered? I didn't see his hammer happening. There you go. Thank you, River. Okay, he's gone. I don't mind silly comments, but you're gonna start attacking people. That's the that's the rule here. You can't attack me, can't attack other people, can't attack subs, can't attack commenters. The only person can attack anybody is me. But you're on a, on a, on a touch screen, Inga. That's why you're so slow today. You need to get yourself a wireless keyboard. So, like Tom has. He got a wireless keyboard for his iPad. Okay, we got new peoples are showing up here. Hey, 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 whoever Chucky, hey, hey, hey is. Yeah, Jasmine, we already established it was February the 5th. You're a little slow on that one. So, Anyways, since February the night of the fifth, I guess the sixth, I got yeah, after I got released there from uh, the strike land, and they gave our streaming privileges back to us. Uh, I got uh, uh, from the seventh on. Okay, Chucky. Okay, what what is going on? Where are these people coming from that are annoying me? Chucky starts off nice. Now time for Chucky to go. <sighs> like, it's got to be stupid kids. It's got to just be bad kids. It's like, oh, more, okay, the quiff whisper. <sighs> oh, man. These people don't, you know, this is, you know, this is how stupid these people are, okay? I'm not bald. Like, that's what I don't understand. Are they just stupid? Like, do they not know the difference between bald and really short hair? Like, you know what I mean, folks? Like, there's so much difference. If I shave my head, my whole head would glow like that, like my forehead is right now. But, see, I got hair. It's just, it's got short. And these people, oh, he's bald. It's like they're stupid kids. That's in Virginia. But you know what the, the thing is? These, these kids are going to grow up and breed, and they're going to vote, and, and they're going to make decisions that we're going to have to pay for. It's like, 
That's the sad part, is that we're doomed. All of us, when we're older, all these young people are going to be taking care of us. And do you think they're going to take very good care of us? Do you honestly think in 20 years, when you're laying in the old folks' home, that these young riffraff that we're on our chat now bashing us are going to be nice to us? Not a chance. They're going to throw us in the basement. We're screwed. Yeah, we are, Mindy. We're so screwed. Oh. The Tide Pod generation. That's it. Speaking of that, I found a Tide Pod in my basement. I didn't know I had Tide Pod. I have a sample Tide Pod downstairs. I should do a Tide Pod challenge. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but... Uh, the lead injection? Oh, yeah, I think... I don't, I don't, I don't want to go down that road getting taken care of by those people. So... Lara, it's natural selection. We should not stop them from eating the Tide Pods. We should not. You know, this is it. This is, I'm going to tell you something, folks. This, a lot of people don't understand this, okay? You know, they say, like, you know, corporal punishment, bad for a child, okay? Washing his mouth out with soap. Could you imagine how many kids would not be eating Tide Pods if they knew that if you swear, curse, you get your mouth washed out with soap, okay? You follow me? So do you think... Oh, here's some Tide Pods. I didn't swear. I'm not putting that in my mouth. You know what I mean? Like, you know, as a kid, well, I did as a kid because my, my grandmother had sunlight soap, that big yellow bar, that, oh, that heavy duty stuff underneath the sink, specifically to wash our mouths out. Um, and I had it in my mouth because, you know, we would drop F bombs as stupid kids and, you know, curse, and she would grab us and, you know, and she'd stick the bar in our mouth and she goes, You like that, you little bastard? And then uh, we wouldn't swear after that. Um, it'd, be, it'd be really nice. And then she'd give us cookies. after and We'd wash our mouths out, and we'd get cookies and milk. Could never figure that logic out. You know? Ca you'd be, get your bar of soap in your mouth, and then cookies and milk after that. <laughs> it's like, Grandma, why'd you do that to me? I still love you, you little prick. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, she never called us me a prick. She was a really nice lady, except for the bar of soap. I remember the bar of soap, though. But anyways, uh, my other grandparents, they just whooped us with the belt. Uh, that, and, and he had a, and he had, he had a hook nail, and he used to grab us. And, and you could, once his hand tight grabbed on, that hook nail would catch you. You couldn't get away. Um, and it was just the wickedest hook nail. I don't know why he didn't cut it, but maybe it was for grabbing the grandkids. But anyways, but uh, these Tide Pod kids, if kids today knew that washing your mother with a bar of soap for swearing, do you think they'd be eating Tide Pods? Like, do you think that we'd have a Tide Pod problem, challenge, problem? You know what I mean? No, you don't, Lara. No, no, Lara, 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 Lara. The reason they're eating the Tide Pods is they're doing videos because they want to go viral and cash in on the YouTube bucks. They're hoping to get the million views to make the, the big bucks, but they don't realize that right now YouTube ain't paying. So like you can have a million views and you're lucky if you're gonna make 500 bucks. Not like the old days where you could make like 3,500 off a million views. Like two years ago, a million views, you could make 3,500 bucks. Today you're lucky to make 500. So for 500 bucks, you know, you no, know, it's not gluten soap. Oh, glutton, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gluten-free Tide Pods. It's the rage. Anyways, I thought I said gluten there. Um, but they, 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 they think they're going to score big and become famous. You know? That's why they're doing it. They're eating the, the Tide Pods to become famous because they want to make, they want their big channels to trend. Oh, the Tide Pods are, uh, is, is a toxic chemical. It's, it's unbelievable, the chemicals in it. Oh. But I guess somebody did a viral video and made big bucks on it, or the the the, you know, the urban legend is they made uh, big bucks, and uh, then uh, everybody else is following. Like I, I read an article, they said in January there was like 180 some odd calls to the poison center, for kids eating Tide Pods. So actually, somebody sent me a link on uh, on Facebook, and it was a a can of Ajax 
and a razor blade, and it was cut into into uh, like little strips like cocaine. And they said uh, Tide Pods are so yesterday. <laughs> so now the new thing is snort Ajax. Anyways, oh, then somebody else sent me a, a picture on Facebook. The Facebook thing was there. Like I got a lot of private messages in that one, but I, as soon as I saw the Tide Pod, I had to open it. But uh, they. Uh, the baker's making cookies that look like Tide Pods? That looks awesome. Well, somebody went into a 7-Eleven and took the cooler and took all the drinks out of it and put Tide Pods in there and then took a picture. <laughs> it was like a drink cooler and there's the, then all the drink coolers and then there's Tide Pods. <laughs> uh, I thought that was really funny. And then somebody made a, made a Tide Pod shooter, but it was all made out of, out of liqueurs. It was a real drink. But it, according to what they said in the comments, it would have tasted like terrible. So. Oh, Lara, this world is this not even making sense anymore. Nothing. It's like, it's, it's nothing makes any sense anymore. It's like, it's, it's just, it's, it's pardon the language, folks, but it's batshit crazy. It's unbelievable. It's there are politicians, our society, everything has gone. As as Tom has said to me, you know, the knife has fallen off the table. I think they've stolen the table now. You know, it's it's bad. It's I I shake my head when I when I just the news. It's like the world didn't vote for Trump. Norm, it was the U.S. Trump's only in the U.S. Norm. You're, you're letting it. Hillary would have been so much better to have a criminal in there. Nothing like having the, the you know the diehard elite stay in charge to rule us as common pheasants or peasants. You think Hillary would be better right now? Oh, Canada's doomed. We're doomed. Russia helped. Russia got 62 million Americans to vote for Trump. Norm, get your head out of your rear, please. Oh. oh, Norm, 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 Norm. I feel sorry for you, Norm. I really do. I don't think there's much help to you. So. Tie pot to Trump. We went down the way. Yeah, we're down many holes. Hillary is a murderess. I agree, Mindy. I agree with Mindy. So... Benita agrees with me too. Well, you're delusional if you're if you're a liberal these days, because liberals aren't. I'm a classic liberal, folks. I am. I am. I'm not a conservative. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. My whole life, I've been a classical liberal. I am not a liberal by today's definition. Today's definition of liberal are nuts. Well, not Diane. The elite don't go to jail. There's two laws in the world. There's our laws, and there's their laws. You should know that by now. The elite never, ever go to the jail. Ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Bullcrap? <laughs> Name an elite that went to jail of that caliber. Name a royalty that's gone to jail. And unless another royalty picks on, like a Saudi prince picks on the other Saudi princes, it don't happen. Unless the elite hone out and decide to start fighting amongst each other, forget it. They never apply common folk. Bernie Madoff was not an elite, Diane. He was a Ponzi scheme scammer. He was not an elite. He wasn't blue bud. You really need to, to uh, get the definition of elite. It, there, there's us and there's them. It doesn't matter. I know who you meant, Diane. I know who Bernie Madoff is. He was just a scammer that got caught. Now, the people he was in bed with, the banks that laundered the billions of dollars... Why aren't they in jail? There's one for you, Diane. Why are the people that Bernie, and it was one single bank that managed that, was it $60 billion that he scammed? Was it J.P. Morgan? J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs? I forget which bank it was. Why didn't anybody, why didn't that bank, why didn't anybody in that bank that knew what he was doing, and they knew what he was doing, why didn't they go to jail? Only Bernie went. They were just as guilty of laundering the money, doing the Ponzi scheme. That's my case.
Until I start seeing Goldman Sachs head roll down the road, I, I don't believe anything. Wells Fargo, well, they laundered drug money for the Mexican cartels and got caught, and nothing happened to them. $135 billion, I think it was, they laundered for the Mexican cartels, and nothing happened to them. Now, imagine this, okay? Money laundering is against the law. It is. It's big time. You, like, you, know, you want to launder money? Let's say, so let's say, let's say the, 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 the meth dealer, the crack dealer comes to your business and says, look, hey, I got $10,000, give me $7,000 back in a check, and uh, I'll launder this money. Well, let's say as a business owner, you do this. Well, you know what? That's 10 years in jail for doing a $10,000 laundering, writing a check for some grant to the meth dealer saying he worked for you, and there you go. You get 10 years in jail. But if you walk into the, the Wells Fargo with $135 million, you don't go to jail. How does that work? No, they have to use a check, Jack. That's what laundering money is about. It's about taking cash and turning it into, into legitimate money. Well, legitimate as far as the government's concerned. Which brings me up to something else. My, my, my fortune cookie last night said, I mean, I share this with you, is a fine is a tax for doing something wrong. Tax is for doing something, a tax is a fine for doing something right. I, I couldn't believe it. I read my fortune cookie last night. I was like, yeah, it's true. No matter what you do, you're screwed. You know? All of this is in my meth lab right now. I know this is the meth lab. We're not in the duck hospital right now. I know. I know. We're, mixing, we're mixing meth up right now here. So, I know I'm in a bit of a rant. Hey, see, I just woke up. <laughs> and I unloaded the truck, got all pumped up. Now I'm, I'm, the rabbit holes are getting bigger, Amelia. Bigger. Exactly, Peter. Steal a buck. Steal a buck. Be a shoplifter. There's one for you. Steal a chocolate bar. You go to jail. Steal a billion dollars. You get a new passport on another country. Like. Inga, the poor don't pay tax, Inga. See, that's a misconception. The poor don't pay tax. Like, over 50% of Americans don't pay any federal tax. Like, that's the, the, we get, the media is blinding us on this. The, the poor don't pay tax. They don't. So it's like, oh, the tax, you know, the poor are paying more. No, we, we don't. Well, we don't, I'm poor too, I, I, but I pay a little bit of tax. Well, more than I'd like to pay. As far as I'm concerned, it's far too much for what I get. But anyways. But it's true. You know, it's, it's, it's the poor don't pay. Like, but everything we buy is tax. Yes, it's a very regressive tax. Sales tax, value-added tax, uh, you know, user fees, you know, property tax. There's all, but the rich also pay all those taxes too. But when the rich, you know, and they're making, you know, like... I, I, I got no problem with the rich who make money, okay? I, on, I don't. If somebody works their buns off and becomes successful, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint a picture for you, okay? I'm gonna, here's a scenario, okay? So let's say the Duck Channel goes viral. I've, I've done four, five years of killing myself doing this for the ducks, for the homeless, okay? And then also maybe this year the channel goes viral, right? And we hit, we hit a million subs, and, I, and, I, and I, I become not Logan Paul and do $8 million a year in, in, in uh, merchandise sales, but let's say I do really well on the merchandise sales, and I make a half a million dollars, okay? And then now I, I make a half a million dollars based on Canadian tax rates, I've got to give the Canadian government $220,000, okay? So, but now I'm, I'm in the, well, as, as, the, as the commoner folk, I'm in the rich, okay? So I pay $220,000 in tax, is that right? You know? Why do I have to pay $220,000 in tax? Like, it's just, and if I don't pay it, I'm a criminal. But I'm an even elite, because elite makes a lot, a lot more than that. You know, the elite are making $500 million. Look at our government. Look at our prime minister. He's got all these, you know, tax havens, all his foreign, all the money off and offshore. Our finance and minister in Canada here is such a crook. He's got, he's, he, 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 how do you, okay, when you become a politician, you have to uh, put a disclosure of all your assets, okay? 
this is not a lie, folks, okay? Our finance minister here in Canada forgot about his multi-million dollar villa in France on his disclosure. How do you forget? Then they show the pictures of the villa. I, it's like you can't forget that place. It's unbelievably gorgeous, big, giant villa. Millions and millions of dollars. How do you forget that? Oh, I forgot I own that villa in France. Oh, we hardly go there. Maybe like two or three weeks of the year. You know what I mean? Like, it's unbelievable. So, we're, we're, we're screwed, folks. So, we got ducks, and we're here in the meth lab, going down the message, down the, uh, the, the rabbit hole hard tonight. So, oh, Mindy, the revolution I don't think will ever come. I wish I had a villa in France. I wouldn't forget about it. But I would sell it and go to another country because France, I don't want to be in France either. So France is not the place I want to be. They're, they're even more screwed than we Well, you know, okay, I'm going to give you another, photo, another one fact. Okay, here's another, this is a hard fact, okay? So you know how you help people help you on the show, okay? And you, you know, you send me money to help me out with the bills and they're like, it's gifts. You're donating gifts. Because I'm not giving a tax receipt. I'm not a charity, okay? I don't issue tax receipts that you can write off the, the donations, okay? I'm just a guy that's doing something positive, trying to help people, okay? And I'm sharing it on YouTube. So you, you make your money, right? Everybody here that's watching this, that donates to the show, gives money to the show, you pay tax on that money. Everybody, okay? Well, unless you're a meth dealer. But anyways, which I don't think you're donating to the show if you're a meth dealer. But you might be. You might have a heart of gold. But anyways, you pay tax. You get, I have to pay tax on that money too. You know what I mean? Like, I have to pay tax. So, like, you give me a gift and I have to pay tax on that money again. So, unless I have bills to cover the money you give me, that's why I do the GoFundMe's with the bills and I, I, I show you everything so because I, I got to make sure that I have bills to counter the the money that you give me you know so i gotta pay tax it's all it, the government says that's income even though it's a gift well deb your cash I, your hundred dollar peso which i never got wink 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 i don't pay tax on that you know but i gotta pay tax it's all taxable everything and to become uh, uh, to become a, uh, 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 what you call it, um, a charity, okay, so that I can give you a tax receipt, all right? <laughs> uh, uh, wink, wink, Deb. Um, if I become a charity, okay, to, to, uh, to get a tax receipt to you, all right? It's $8,000 a year in, uh, in accounting fees. To run a nonprofit, that's the base accounting. Eight thousand dollars is what the accountant said it costs to to file and take care of the books for a for a charity in Canada. It's just crazy, you know. It's crazy. And then you know, Inga, your your inheritance tax. We have that here too. The inheritance tax. Okay, that, that's not. I'm totally against. Okay, is the inherit that that's wrong. Okay, you work your whole life. You pay taxes your whole life. Everything you buy, you're taxed on. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, Doug. Dougie's knocking that. Everything you're taxed on in life. Everything you do, you pay tax. You pay property taxes. But when you go to when you die and you give your stuff away to your kids, they gotta pay tax on it all. It was already taxed. Everything's been taxed the whole time. Okay, Doug. Doug's okay. Doug wants attention here. He, he's, I'm getting too excited. Um, Doug. Taxes keep the no, Kayla. You must be young. Kayla needs to. Need, Kayla needs to be red pilled. She thinks the taxes run the country. No, they don't. The the bankers run the country. Kayla. Bankers run the country. We're just tax slaves to the bankers. Oh, uh, now Kayla's telling me to shut up. Okay, someone get rid of Kayla. Vista, hammer her, please. 
Okay, so I got a good one for you. All right. No, I don't want. I don't want her timed out, Tom. Tom, I I want her hammered, hammered, gone, kaboom. Call me a baldy. Tell me to shut up. What? I want a rant. That's cottages in Canada. You know, lots of people have cottages. My parents had a cottage, okay? Well, they still do. They moved there. So your parents die, all right? They leave you their home. Now their home is tax-free, okay? The home. But if they have a cottage that's classed as a luxury, even though you pay tax on the money to buy the cottage, even though you pay the taxes on the cottage, the, uh, the property taxes and all that stuff the whole time, the, 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 the cottage is full capital gains tax. So if your parents' cottage is, let's say, well, today with cottages, they're like crazy valuable because they don't make lakefront property anymore. So like my, by, by like my parents' cottage, if it was still a cottage, would be worth like about a quarter of a million dollars, you know, which was like an $800 uh, uh, lot in 1967. So now it's a quarter of a million dollars. Well, in Canada, we've got to pay on 50% of the value, 25% tax, okay? So I've got to pay on $125,000, I would have to come up with $35,000 in tax to keep the family cottage. Now, what if you were like a young family and you couldn't afford it, you couldn't, you have to sell, your, you have to sell the, uh, the cottage, lose the family cottage that you've had in your life, the whole, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, inheriting too much money for irresponsible children. That, that's the super rich you're talking about there, Peter. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the elite. We're at the elite, the people that don't go to jail. They're the ones that Diane was talking about earlier. We're, I'm talking about just average Joes like you and me, you know? Like the people in this chat right now, just average people, us tax slaves, you know? We're the ones that, you know, the government wants to rake over the coals. Like family farms here in Canada. They wanted to do, this is one they tried to float, eh? The, our corrupt minister, finance minister who forgot his villa in France, uh, was trying to float the idea that family farms were a tax scam. That family farmers, the, all these small family farms, were, uh, they were scamming the tax system. And that when you uh, wanted to sell your family farm to your, uh, uh, your kids, okay, that if you didn't, uh, if you didn't take money, and they would have to get the value of the farm, and they would have to pay a tax. Are you ready for this, folks? On the family farm, okay? So like you got you got your son, and he wants to take over the farm, and you know you got like 800 acres, and you you're, you got it from your dad, okay? So it's been in the family since like 1890, and you got it from your dad, and but back then there was no tax. You got the farm, handed it over to you when he died, and you're running it now. Your kids turn, and the government says no. You're going to hand it over to your kids? What's your 800-acre farm worth? Well, it's worth $7 million. Well, guess what? you got to come up with 70% tax. 70% the government wanted to float on the tax rate of handing your farm over to your kids because they, they, they said that it was a tax uh, uh, scam, that small farmers were tax scamming the system. Meanwhile, the finance minister, minister of finance forgot about his villa in France. Unbelievable. No, it didn't pass, Larry. There was such a public backlash, it's now stuck at the 50% tax. It's unbelievable. And this is what we're all subject to, all of us, you know, us, us average folks. You know? Well, your, your, your inheritance tax. There you go, Inga. That's what happens when the government, you know, is, oh, don't worry, we'll take care of you, but we just need all your money to do that. That's why, you know, this current form of government we have, you know the communists have won it. Eh? You know that, eh? They lost the war, but they won the battle because they, they've infiltrated us. They're, 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 it's, we live in a communist world, folks. If you think you're free, you're a fool. Well, we're far from free. Far from free. No. Yeah. Mark, there's no lights in the duck pen because it's cold out and it's nighttime. It's winter, Mark. The ducks are in the barn. Oh. That's why the current liberal, I, like I said, I'm a classical liberal, folks. I am. I'm a liberal. I'm not really a conservative because I don't believe in a lot of conservative values. 
um, I'm not, I know I, it might really freak some people out, but I'm, I'm one of the liberals that are no longer defined anymore because the current liberals, are, they're just crazy. They're, they're communists, they're Marxists, they're, they're, they're right off the end. Like, when I watch videos on YouTube and I see young people that think that communism is good, like, unbelievable. Like, when you see a 19-year-old kid saying, well, yeah, communism, well, they got pink hair, so you just dismiss them right there, right? But it's like, they're sitting there like communism is good. It's like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> we were taught communism was bad when we were in school. Now, communism is good. Like, anyways, I'm a classical liberal is what I am, which I guess we would call center. Because maybe I'm a, a fiscal conservative slash liberal. I don't know. But I'm in the middle, I guess. I don't know. So, you're extremely liberal? Like, as in the current liberal, Kelly? Like, the definition of liberal today? No way. You're that crazy. I, I can't believe it. Anyways, I'm not a liberal as of today's definition. Oh, Venezuela. Don't even, Dad, don't even get me started there. Venezuela. There's, there's, uh, uh, there's bad, 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 bad. Uh, that, what's going on in Venezuela now? I just was watching a news uh, documentary on that one the other night. Uh, they've got Mad Max happening in Venezuela now, eh? Like, you know, the, anybody here know the Mad Max series? You know, Mad Max, Beyond the Thunderbolt, uh, Road Warrior, that stuff. Does anybody know that, that movie series? Well, right now in Venezuela, that's happening. That's what's happening is the uh, there's marauding bands that are hijacking transports on the highways. That's what's happening in Venezuela right now, and the and uh, the uh, uh, the truck drivers are not allowed to have guns, and the police won't protect them because the police unless the police get some money, they won't protect the the truck drivers. So the truck drivers are getting robbed. They were showing videos of them looting the trucks. I was watching it. I was like, my God, they've gone right over the edge. They're raiding the, the, the zoo and they're killing zebras and eating them. It's pretty bad. When they're going to the zoo and they're, they're killing the, 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 the animals in the zoo and eating them. You can't let your pets out. Cats and dogs are open game. Like, total collapse. So, that's what, that's what uh, liberalism gone mad is like. Right over the right over hard left, hard left. There's hard left. Oh, don't even get don't get started on Cape Town. That there's my grandfather. My grandfather, he he was a philanthropist. Okay, he was a millionaire. He made a lot of money, and uh, he built schools in South Africa, and uh, he 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 went there all the time. Every year he went to South Africa for uh, between three to five months of the year. He was down there, and he, he built schools. Every two years, he'd finish the school, okay? And he loved the place, and he kept going back, and kept going back, and kept going back, and uh, he invested a lot of money. I think he built like five or six schools uh, down there over a, a course of about 50, 12, 15 years. And uh, he said something to me once that uh, I didn't understand, because I was young back then, uh, like I was in my 30s. And he said to me, he said, you know, and I'm not racist, folks. I don't think I'm racist, okay, because I'm not. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't care what color your skin, are, skin is. Uh, it doesn't bother me one bit. But he told me that, you know, if, if the whites ever lose power in that country, it was doomed. Well, you know, look what's happening now. There's white genocide in South Africa. There's more YouTube uh, documentaries of independent journalism going down there showing how they're, they're, being, they're just being mass killed, that the government... The actual, the elected government is, is chanting, kill the whiteies, you know? Imagine having a government, you know, they're like, kill the whiteies, and you're standing there and you're white. It's like, when you're surrounded by black people, you're like, oh, I better get out of here, you know what I mean? Like, they're killing the farmers off. It's unbelievable the farmers that are getting killed. In South it's not, the news ain't covering what's really going on in South Africa. So, their infrastructure is collapsing, like totally collapsing. Uh, they've done no uh, 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 no investment, no, no nothing since they took over. Since apartheid ended, they have done nothing but run the country into the ground. 
Like South Africa had the highest immigration rates in Africa during apartheid, and now people are leaving. That's how bad it. It's gone. It's the other way around. It's really if you, the truth about South Africa. The media is not telling us. They're not telling us the truth of what's going on in that country. There's a lot of nasty, nasty murdering going on. Nasty murder and stuff. It's bad down there. I, I highly recommend it. Search on YouTube and you'll be, you'll be surprised. There's like some really, really good documentaries on what else is, uh, uh, is going on in that country right now. Like right now. There's a lot of really current videos, like stuff just this month shot in South Africa, what's going on down there. So, so uh, what, what rabbit hole have we covered here today, folks? Um, North Korea? <laughs> what about North Korea? Taking over the Olympics? <laughs> uh, the North Korean Ivanka Trump, as CNN would say. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Peter, we're definitely not going in the right direction, my friend. Not even close. Yeah, well, we, we're on a rant. I was on a roll here, Linda. I don't know. We just, we just, we just, it just happened. They, uh, it just happened. It, uh, uh, <laughs> it's like, I didn't count on this, folks. This one thing about live streaming, you never know where we'll go, eh? Okay, I got a couple wet ducks. I've got to clean up here. We had the hammer. We did what three or four new people we had to hammer. So, you know, all it wasn't a total wasted stream. We had some we, we, we had some casualties here today. Uh, you know. And uh, I got two little soaking ducks. They're um, here, I'll just show you. There's the little wet ducks. So I'm gonna put the little wet ducks into their uh, uh, situation here and I gotta go and do something for supper to get the stream from outside inside because it's dark outside now as as we were told there's no lights in the pen because it's nighttime and it's winter and the ducks go inside um i'm thinking what else you might not uh, uh, uh i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow for egg recon folks because um um i got to be at the food bank early they open at nine o'clock and i want to get i want to unload the eggs plus i gotta do a little run around in the morning and talk to some people about uh, the forklift situation i've got two other people i can talk to that have those forklifts that are on the back of uh the trucks so i gotta see if i can find something because like i said i'm not hand bombing sixty four thousand pounds of uh patio stones. it would be a hell of a good workout serious pump but uh i ain't doing that so and, I, and you can't even get a crew of people here to do something like that it need they need needs to be mechanical, so. Can you buy me a new clock? No, I I need guts. See, it's it's right twice a day, twice a day that clock's right. No, I gotta get I gotta get new guts for it. I bought new replacement guts for it, but it didn't work out. It'll last. Actually, hang on. Let me just check something. I think I wrote the date on the on the. Put the new guts in, folks, and, and I had, the only way I could get it to run right, I had to cut the second hand off. See the second hand? I had to cut the second hand off because when the kit showed up, it was bent. So, okay, I wrote the date on the on the uh, the battery. So, is the battery dead? I don't think so because I, I just replaced this recently. August 23rd is what the battery says. Oh, I got a battery here. Okay, what time is it right now? 6.30 in the internet world. So let's see if I can, if it'll run. Okay, it's running again. So let's try another battery here. We'll, we'll get the time happening again here. Because I know some of you, as it drives you nuts, seeing the clock the wrong time in the back. Doug, that was me with the, the drawer. Yeah, when I got the kit, the second hand was uh, bent. No, and it was rubbing against the glass, so I had to cut her off. Okay, she's working again. So we'll try this, see what happens. I should have ordered a dumb one. 
Well, I like that one because it's huge and I can see it from across the driveway. Yeah, I'll take that to the house. All right. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye, folks, because i got to go and uh, take care of these little wet ducks that are staring at us. They, they've watched the whole rant, and uh, um, they found it quite interesting by the way they're focusing. It's amazing, you know, when I do these rants like this, the ducks just stop and stare at me, you know? So, I'm going to, that's right, I'm going to see you later, alligator, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. We, I don't know what tomorrow's going to happen, but you're definitely going to be seeing a food bank video because this is the biggest load of eggs. I'm thinking it's got to be uh, pushing, it's, I'm thinking 1,100 eggs. I'm going to, the video's going to be titled 1,000 plus eggs because I know it's that, but I'm thinking it's going to, it's 1,100 eggs. It's the it's the, unbelie the biggest load of eggs I've ever had here uh, going tomorrow to the food bank. So, which if you think about it, that's like about 600 breakfasts. You know, actually, if that was a big scrambled eggs dish, you probably could do 600 people easily, you know. Plasma, you keep track of when I did the battery, okay? I might be, I'm going to leave that up to you. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for joining me, folks.